Hello there, and thank you for joining me. My name is Rosanna White, and my company is I for Marketing, illustrating your brand. So I want to thank you for your interest in my webinar today, how to start and grow your business. Here is my contact information on the screen there. This is how you can get in touch with me. So what we're going to do today is we are going to, let me just go to our next slide. Today is how to start and grow your business. So we're going to talk about brand identity, going to talk about websites, and we're going to touch on digital marketing. But before I get into that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I am a graduate from Durham College and received a diploma in contemporary web design. It was a two-year full-time program that I did while taking care of a two-year-old. And I also have a digital marketing certificate. And how I keep up to date in this evolving digital marketing um, world is I'm always taking webinars myself. I'm always constantly signing up for courses and watching webinars is how I keep myself up to date. Now, prior to maternity leave, I was an event coordinator for Durham College, which some people who are local would understand that that is the local uh, college in our area. I'm from Ontario, Canada. My other career backgrounds are I'm a certified wedding planner with the Wedding Planners Institute of Canada. I am also a, a photographer. So I've had quite a few careers over my lifetime and they all lead me back to my creative nature. I am a single full-time mother and very proud to be running my own business, I for Marketing, full time. And what I want my clients to know is that I'm here for them as my number one, as their number one support system. So I am no stranger to the many challenges and obstacles that, uh, be, that come with being an entrepreneur. And so I know that getting started can be one of the hardest things to do. And I want to be able to help people overcome their fears and doubts that they may have. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's talk about branding. There are top three things to focus on when creating your brand identity are your business name, your colors, and your brand elements. So we are going to start off first with your business name. So choose a name that best describes what your business is and or what your business does. So I for marketing has the name marketing in it, which is exactly what I do. Now, make sure that it resonates with you. So the I in my business name means many different things for me. It actually stands for intuition because all through my life, people are always telling me that I'm very intuitive and that I have an eye for marketing. So, um, so that's where I came up with the I for marketing. It also stands for the letter I also stands for illustration because that's what I do. I illustrate your brand. And then I also stands for internet, which is what many people would uh, come to first when they think about my name. So moving forward is we're going to talk about colors. Choose two to three colors that resonate with you. So I for Marketing is shades of purple. My favorite color is purple. So if you follow me on social media, you'll notice that purple is a very dominant thing that you will recognize. And the reason for that is I'm my birthstone is amethyst, which is purple. Hence, one of my packages, service packages that I offer is called amethyst. One of the other packages that I have is named lavender. Lavender is my premium package and is also purple. So if you check out my YouTube page and you keep following some of my other videos, I will explain how I came up with the packages for my name. So go ahead and take a look at that. Um, on my website and social media, you will also see pictures purple in nature. And many of the top brands that you see out there in the world, um, Facebook, Facebook uses two colors. They're blue and white. Home Depot uses two colors and they are orange and white and Ford, very popular company Ford uses two colors. So many of the top brands in the world are choosing around two to three colors. So that's what I also recommend. And then we're gonna talk about your brand elements. So your logo, 
I recommend having a main logo and a secondary logo. And you'll notice on many of my videos that my secondary logo is used there. It's a shortened version of your regular logo. So that's what a secondary logo is. So you can see the IFM right here. That, that is my secondary logo that I use. And then decide on brand elements or images that will be carried through to your marketing materials, such as your business cards, posters, social media, and your website. So brand elements really help you stand out. So I'm going to go on and show you some of the brand elements that I for marketing has. And many people, I do a lot of networking, business networking. And when I meet people, they say, oh, yes, I think I've seen your, your business on social media. They often recognize this big circle that you see here. That's my main element. Other elements that you see, depending on what my social media posts are, you'll see pictures of my amethyst stones. So then when I'm talking about my amethyst package, I will have that image. When I'm talking about my lavender package, I'll have a lavender image. Or my rose quartz package, I'll show rose quartz. So these are just examples of brand elements. And they're usually something that is pulled out of from your, from your logo or can be custom designed. Now, if you want to take your branding a bit further, I recommend having a tagline. Now, I for Marketing's tagline is illustrating your brand. So you'll often know, even at the beginning of this video, I often say, hello, my name is Rosanna White. My company is I for Marketing, illustrating your brand. And illustrating your brand is exactly what I do. Um, Nike's tagline is just do it. So a tagline is a magnetic phrase and it's an excellent way to addition to your brand identity. So when you're thinking about your, your business name, try to think about, you know, something else, a, a magnetic phrase that goes along with it. And then the next thing that we're going to talk about, um, I want to talk about is websites. So how to get started, content must haves and updates. Okay, so how to get started is domain and hosting. So your very first step is to register your domain name, domain name. So you want to decide, are you going to use a .com or a .ca? So I recommend .com most of the time. Now, the times when you want to use .ca, for example, which .ca stands for Canadian company, is if you are a landscaping company or you are, you know, you have an ice cream parlor as, as your company. Well, these are things that are, you know, like your brick and mortar type of places that you go to in person. So those are good examples of when you might want to use a .ca. And, you know, choosing your hosting package is very important. So you cannot have, you need, uh, hosting is needed to build your live website. You can't have a website without web hosting. And then most of web, website designers will help you with your domain and hosting setup for a small fee. And I for Marketing is available to help you with your domain registration, researching your domain names and your hosting. And I can tell you um, and give you some help with that. Now, when it comes to domain and hosting, there are so many companies out there that you can host with and have your domain with. Now, I will say that I highly recommend SiteGround. Um, full disclosure, I will share that I am an affiliate marketer for SiteGround. So if you do use my referral link, um, I do receive a small commission for that. And the reason why I became an affiliate marketer for SiteGround is because over the many years that I have been using, um, doing my own websites over 15 years now, I have used so many different hosting companies. I've used, you know, GoDaddy, I've used Fat Cow, I've used um, Dot Easy. Um, there's so many companies to choose from and how you choose them is up to you. So you need to do your research. I can say that I've done my research. I've used other ones over the years and for using SiteGround for the past few years now, I can say confidently that I highly do recommend SiteGround. So um, some of the things that you, you want to, 
to look for is when you're looking for your hosting company, there are some things you need to focus on. You want to make sure that their packages in your hosting includes SSL, Secure Sockets Layer. So this is an encrypted link between the server and a client. Other things that you want to look for in your hosting package are you want to make sure you get a hosting package that offers daily backups. I cannot stress how important it is to have a backup of your of your website and have it in more than one place. So your backup can be through a plugin or and or through your website. And you want to also make sure that they have an FTP client available. Now you want to make sure that they have your web hosting has strong security features. You know, with SiteGround, they have an, an additional security feature that you can have. And I recommend adding Site Scanner. This is a specific feature that scans your site for malware. And I can't tell you how many times I often get clients who will, um, you know, who aren't even my clients will reach out to me and say they need help. Their, their website has been hacked. Malware is very becoming more and more common. So you want to make sure that um, you want to prevent that from happening. So you want to make sure that you have really good security features. And, you know, last but not least, the biggest reason why I also love SiteGround is they offer 24 seven support. And this is huge because if your website goes down or if, you know, like many people try to update something on their own, if you, you know, and something goes wrong on their website, you need to have that up and running right away. You don't want your website to be down. So you want to be able to contact your hosting company if something goes wrong. You know, we all run different hours of the day. You know, we're on different time zones. We, you know, we work all hours around the clock if you're an entrepreneur. So SiteGround offers, you know, chat support, um, email support and telephone support. And anytime that I've needed, I have been able to get fast support right away and their wait times are literally next to none so these are some of the things that you really want to make sure that when you are ready to get going with domain and hosting that you really do your research and make sure that you have some of these key elements as part of it okay so let's go on to talk about your content must-haves for your website so you need to decide what pages you need or want to have so depending on the type of business you have, will determine what pages you include. So for example, if you have products you sell, then you may want to have one page that has all your products on it, or you may wanna have a drop down navigation that separates your products page by page. Um, creating a visual site map is, is also, you know, something that is included with all of my um, packages, website packages. And the user experience on your, on your website is absolutely extremely important. You wanna make sure that when someone goes to your website that it's very easy to navigate. You've got about you know three seconds or so for people to really form an opinion on your website. So you want them to have a really good experience when they're there. And when I, when I work with my clients, I do create a visual site map. So I'm going to just show you um, an example of a site map. So here's an example of something that I would create for somebody who hires me to, to design their website. So one of the things we're going to talk about when you meet with me is we talk about, you know, what pages and seeing something visually really helps you kind of visualize your website and how it is. So that's what the website site map is for. This is a visual site map and it's included with all of our pages and it really helps to understand the, the flow of your website. So your content must haves. Okay, so will you have a blog on, on every page? Um, a call to action form on every page? Do you want to sell products on your website? Testimonials, a photo gallery, an about page. These are all things to think about when you are looking to have your website built. And, you know, if you can prepare all these things, when it's time to working with your web designer, it will help you get that website at moving forward in a timely manner. You know, things that I recommend that you have on your homepage are your about, your services, your products, testimonials if you have any, call to actions and contact. 
And when it comes to call to actions, you want to have them on every page. And even on your homepage, you can have them on more, more than one section, because we want to make sure that people are staying on your website and we want to make sure that they're using it and give them uh, things to do. And last but not least, your content must be responsive. And you know, when I what I mean by that is it's got to be able to view on all of the platforms. Because nowadays we've got our phones, we've got our tablets, we've got our our uh, you know MacBooks, we've got your desktops. There's so many different size formats that people are viewing your website on. So you want to make sure that um, each of your pages on your website view well um, on each of these different um, devices that people are going to be going to your website for. And website updates. Um, website updates are so important. You, you want to make sure that you update your about. You want to make sure that your services stay up to date, your packages, um, your blogs. And these are just a few items I re would recommend updating on your existing website. As your business evolves and levels up, so should your website. So, you know, update your profile image of yourself. You know, take time to get professional photos and certainly update your picture if you have updated your look or your photo is a couple of years old. And one of the, you know, a really good example of that is, you know, when we talk, you know, for women, for example, you know, the big thing now is going gray. So if your profile pictures still have you with your dark black hair, and now you're sporting, you know, the ever so popular gray hair, well, then you want to update that. You know, I can't tell you how many times that I've, you know, seen advertisements of, you know, speak, keynote speakers with these wonderful photos. And when I go to take their webinar, they, I can't even recognize who the speaker is because they look so different. So, you know, if it's been a while since you've updated your photo, then it is definitely worth it to do that. Um, now, when you update your website, it improves your search engine rankings, you know, um, and I would recommend updating your website at least a couple of times a year, you know, making sure that it's up to date. Google um, and search engines, you know, reward you for updating and they help bring your page up further uh, in your in your SEO. So you want to make sure that you're doing regular updates. And so today, like I said, we're going to touch a little bit about digital marketing. So right here in front, you'll see a, a you know a list of you know some popular digital marketing um, for ways of digital marketing. So one of the most popular is social media and posting regularly. Now, if you decide you're going to go on social media and you know posting regularly really is important, but I also want to say that if you can't, if you're not somebody that can stay consistent posting regularly, if you can't commit to three or four posts a week on a regular basis, then don't start it. So many times what happens is people will hire somebody to do their social media. They'll be so excellent at you know doing it regularly and it takes time to grow. So the algorithm sees that you're posting regularly and rewards you. However, if you stop posting regularly, like you've stopped hiring somebody to do that, well, now the algorithm penalizes you, penalizes you in a way, so to speak, because now that you, you know, you spend all that time doing it regularly and you're not doing it anymore. Now your posts are going to show up less on people's um, social media. So you want to make sure that you are staying consistent with your social media, whatever it is that you decide to do, just be consistent. Email marketing. Email marketing is extremely popular and email marketing is providing value to your consumers. And over time, they convert to that audience converts into customers. So email marketing is a really great way for people to get to know you. Um, people get, you know, do business with who they know, like, and trust. So um, email marketing is something easy to, to adapt to. Now, pay-per-click marketing. These are the advertisements that you see when you go to a web page or you go to a platform and you see pop-up advertisements. That's that's an example of pay-per-click advertising. 
And then search engine optimization. You hear SEO is often, you know, talked about and SEO refers to, you know, the keywords and phrases that relate to your business. So you want to optimize your website and um, your hashtags for keywords that will help um, your search engines pick that up. And then we've got content marketing. Uh, an example of content marketing could be, you know, a digital download, uh, an ebook, a video. These are some examples of what um, what content marketing is. Affiliate marketing. Well, I just already gave you an example earlier in the slides earlier. I am an affiliate marketer for SiteGround. So affiliate affiliate marketing is you promoting products, and um, many companies will reward you if you do that. So a lot of the times when you'll see um, influencers that are really big. Um, you know, if you do videos on a regular basis and you use the same coffee, a certain type of coffee, you may want to um, include that, you know, sign up for affiliate marketing for that. And then you can, that's an, another way of getting a little bit of passive income. Mobile marketing. So mobile marketing um, reaches people through text messages, social media, websites, email, mobile applications. So an example of mobile marketing is, you know, say you, you know, signed up for um, reminders for your dental appointment, you're going to get that text message reminder. So that's an example of mobile marketing. And then we've got marketing analytics. So analytics is really um, tracking success on every platform you use. And you reason why you want to, the reason why you want to do that is you want to see the work that you're doing. Is it is it getting you anywhere? Is it is it producing what you need it to do? So analytics is is definitely an important part of your digital marketing. So I for marketing really um, focuses. I I don't use all of those things. Um, you know. I focus a lot on social media and email marketing. You know, social media uh, is examples of Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube. That's, you know, the main popular social media platforms, you know, TikTok. And what social media does, it builds brand awareness. It helps you connect with your customers. And then it also helps boost your SEO. And then email marketing. There are so many different um, software that you can use for email marketing. I myself use MailChimp. Um, that's a really good platform to use. It integrates with your website really good. So does Constant Contact. Um, if you're looking for email marketing that's very robust and has a lot of um, a variety of automations, Keep is, is one of those email marketing platforms. It does cost a little bit more than MailChimp or Constant Contact, but it is a very um, elaborate and detailed automation system. Um, and, you know, if, if you're, you know, the other reason for your email marketing is it's considered your own private real estate. So if your social media went down, you would at least have your email client list, you know, your followers, your, uh, you know, your future prospects. So you want to keep your subscribers updated and, and, you know, send them useful and relevant content. And so, you know, that is just, we're wrapping up the, this webinar and, you know, I thank you. I hope that you've got a lot from it. Um, I always like to share um, one of my favorite quotes is I want to leave you with here today is there is a powerful driving force inside every human being that once unleashed can make any vision, dream, or desire a reality. So I thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you like this, definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, and I, if you like this, keep following um, I for Marketing. And on my website, I do have an email subscriber if you wanna see what I have coming up. I will be offering other webinars. I would love to hear some feedback from you if, if you got what you needed today. And I thank you so much. And if you wanna get to know more about I for Marketing and our packages that we offer, um, I encourage you to go to my website, iformarketing.com and book an iDiscovery session. This is a free, no obligation, 
quick Zoom meeting that we can do one-to-one, -one, talk about what your, you know, your branding needs are, what your website needs are, and take it from there and see what we can do to help you level up and grow your business. That is my webinar. I thank you. Um, I thank you for watching. My name is Rosanna White. My company is I for Marketing, illustrating your brand.